Although Concorde was not a particularly comfortable way to travel, it really was an engineering marvel. The demise of this incredible mode of transportation represents one of the few instances in human history where available technology has actually gone backwards. Although it is common knowledge that Concorde would get you from London to New York in about three and a half hours, cruising at a speed of approximately 1300 miles per hour, how fast could the plane actually go? In 1996, due to a combination of favorable weather conditions, pushing the plane a little harder than usual, and careful planning and preparation, Concorde successfully made the flight between London and New York in less than three hours. However, it would not be until 2003, during a commemorative flight marking the end of Concorde service, that it was opened up to the maximum. During the flight, the British Airways plane was able to achieve a top speed of 1,466 miles per hour. So, was that it? Was that the absolute top speed the incredible machine was capable of? Well, not quite. Under ideal conditions, a top speed of 1,491 miles per hour was theoretically possible. However, there is no record of this speed ever being achieved.